Is a standard mental health comic, the uh, Arit Esselin. He is a singer, songwriter, performer, artiste. Also, Jewel Tolentino. Also, an artist will be sharing her thoughts on marketing and various things. We are now back into the continent of the CGSF radio studio, and we're going to say hello to our lovely guests. And we're going to go from left to right for those of you on radio. So pull the mic down there and say hello, Arit. How are you? Hello, Arit. How are you? <laughs> they take directions very literally <laughs> here. So I'm doing well. How about you? I'm doing great. All right, Dave Kennett, comedian, how are you? Well, I'm crazy. That's why I'm a comedian. Well, that's why we have you on the show. Thank you for that. I think we missed that. Can you say that again? You're crazy. <laughs> I forgot to press a button here. David Kennett, <laughs> welcome. What were you again? You wanted me to tell you I'm crazy, but you forgot to press the button. Uh, no, I know. Uh, isn't that attached to a palm? I usually press people's buttons. No, not people's buttons. Okay. It's very safe to you. So thank you, Dave, for that lovely introduction twice. And Jewel it's nice. Valentino, welcome. Hello, everybody. All right, now change the topic. So, uh, Arid, are you ready to do a tune for us? Uh, yes. Like how we set that up? Yeah. All right, so can you introduce, uh, well, introduce yourself and your music and then your, sure. your, what you're going to say. Um, yeah, I, I just released an album in May, and it's called I Am, and uh, it's my debut album. It's actually exactly what you were talking about, Jay, with uh, finding, finding inspiration and creativity and the art in emotions and uh, just exploring that, and I did that with my lyrics. And, um, yeah, I the, the song, I'm actually going to just do a little a cappella thing for you guys because I don't play any instruments, but I can finger snap, which will be part of it. So um, I'm going to sing a bit of I Am for you, and it's the last song I wrote. It's all about confidence. A one, a two. A one, two, three, four. Slip on a pair of red heels and walk my way up. I'm gonna walk my way up with confidence. Drive out, I got the fences, cause I'm passionate. I am passionate with ambition, yeah. Oh, well, here's my declaration to you. Cause that's who, that's who I am. I am a fighter. Oh, who's fighting for the top? Don't care what skeptics think or what they are. I am proud, proud to be doing what I love. Yeah, it took me a while to get here, but oh, but the hardest part was starting up. Whoa, 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 I am sick of people telling me you're not gonna make it. Well, what makes you think I am most people? Ooh, I shrug up, brush up, all that down, cause I'm not giving up. No, I'm not giving up what I feel. Oh, well, here's my declaration to you. Cause that's who, that's who I am. Yeah, yeah, I am a fire. Oh, who's fighting for the top? Don't care what skeptics think or what the odds are. I am proud, proud to be doing what I love, yeah. It took me a while to get here, but ooh, ooh but the hot spot was starting up. All right, so we're back in studio here, and uh, we're going to talk to Jewel a little bit. So talk about beauty and Jewel. That's an amazing segue. That's <laughs> Thank a great, you. beautiful name. Thank you. It is real, by the way. It is real? Yes, my name. I always get asked if it's a, a stage name or anything like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Jewel but told me, you know, it has just such a great rhythm to it, eh? It's Jewel. <laughs> Thank you. Right? It's, it's, a very, it's a very rhythmic name. Thank Not you. Not like, I don't know. I don't know an unrhythmic name. I can't figure one out right now. John Smith? Yeah. John Jones? 
Yeah, it's that's pretty s- sterile. Yeah. <laughs> I would change it. Like, if I was John Jones, I would be just... Jim Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I would change it. Right, right. Yeah. Way to go right into the depths of that. Yeah. All right, Jill, talk a bit about um, kind of art and kind of the context of your creative um, ventures, because you have a number of things going on. Yeah, I do have a number of things going on. Also, um, it's with actually Arit, who's also, who just sang for you guys earlier. Um, basically, what we do is we try and help artists and performers with the social media aspect of things. So, although artists and performers, they're so involved with their art that with this day and age being in the 21st century, you've got to mix in the technology as well to, to fully get yourself out there these days. So that's sort of what we do. It's called Esatino Connections. So uh, when you say um, for artists, like, what would you do for them? And, and uh, how would uh, they know it's, it's working? And, like, what experience have you, you know, drawn on for yourselves or other... Well, right now, um, Reed's sort of being the guinea pig of the project. It's actually a work in progress. Okay. Um, what we did was uh, with YouTube, with videos, I started Reed TV, and there are episodes of her starting out her journey from the beginning and, you know, going on to now doing this radio show. This, I mean, this is going to be an Arit TV episode as well. It's going to be episode number seven. And how you know it's working is when you start to get people interacting with you, connections and opportunities that start coming your way. As soon as we started putting ourselves out there online, having the website, interacting on Twitter and Facebook and things like that, the opportunities have been coming like crazy. Can you say, Arit? Yeah, we, um, we try and help out. Artists and performers market themselves with uh, their own website and uh, building a social media campaign. You know, with Facebook and Twitter now as the main marketing methods now. Um, it's really, really powerful, especially when you're trying to build a fan base. And um, and that's that's exactly what you're trying to do when you're an artist or performer, because ultimately your fans are the ones who lead you to your success. It sounds so basic. Are, are really artists uh, that disconnected from uh, marketing in themselves, like uh, efficiently, w- or what? What? Uh, what are you finding? Because I, I, I just, so. I just find, uh, why wouldn't you do this? Like, yeah. Well, I mean, if you're an artist or performer and you want to make money and you don't have a website, that is your biggest mistake. And I've met a lot of artists yes. with that website. Really? So what do you, I mean? That's uh, it just blows me away. So uh, w- what kind of exceptions for people? Like, what are their excuses why they wouldn't have one right now? Because I'm just mm. struggling with this. Uh, they don't know how to set up a website. They just, they don't understand it, so they just don't bother. But you got to move with the times. This is where it's at right now. Okay, so this is really a ground-up service that you're trying to provide for them. And, and like, what depths? Because if you have to tweet for all your clients, and that, that's a lot of work. Like, so are you guiding them? Or what? Uh, what's the general, like, if I'm a green artist that's, you know, I'm super talented. I know how to juggle with my feet. And so <laughs> I would come to you, and what, what happens? Well, basically, on our website, EsatinoConnections.com, there's this free ebook that you sign up for, and that's sort of like the base for everything to set up each sort of pillar that you need to get going as an artist or performer. And we constantly have new content going on every couple of days, and it's just tools and stuff to help help them. It's all free. So there's, uh, they don't have to pay for that? or no. Because a lot of these artists, they have nothing, right? I mean, yeah, no, we, we totally understand that, and all this information on our site is completely free. Yeah, there's a lot of valuable information on there, and uh, part of that is um, because, like Jewel said, a lot of artists think that it's detracting away from their art if they're paying attention on, this, on the social media aspect of things and the website. Yeah, yeah. So we do offer those services. We can build a full-on website for artists. Um, uh, the web design and the hosting as well. Um, and we also do things like help them build their image on Facebook with certain banners, like a graphic design for their profile picture and a landing page picture. So there's there's lots of other things that we offer too. Yeah, that's a lot of work. I, I mean... It's fun. Did you ever try to say what's on your mind but in the end nothing will say and hey, how 
Have you ever tried to say just how you feel, but it wasn't real, just an empty box in? Well, you're just too scared to speak up, and you're trapped in a safe place of shame. Just let go of these broken words, fear of failure I know. Just let go, cause you feel torn apart when your lips are saying something that your heart is not. And you're just keeping it to yourself. Hey, did you ever stop to think just who you are and it makes sense? You're censored and silenced, oh, hey. Did you ever stop to think just why you had so much inside? You're paralyzed, well, you're just too scared to speak up. And you're trapped in a safe place of shame Just let go of this broken world Fear of failure I know Just let go Cause you feel torn apart When your lips are saying something that your heart is not and you'll just, just let go of these broken words Fear of failure I know Just let go Cause you feel torn apart When your lips are saying something that your heart is not And you're just keeping it to yourself We're here with Re TV, and my name is Jewel Tolentino. We're going to be switching things up. You'll be noticing that this interview portion is coming at the end of the video. And that's because we were just on radio for 90.1 FM, and I was actually on as well. Re was singing, and we were also talking about Estino Connections, which is sort of our joint partnership that we have going on. So what was it like singing on the radio? It was so much fun, like just, just to be in the sound room in that little, it's like a little cubicle, and there's like a little people there, we're all squished in, but it was a lot of fun. And, um, it, was, it was just cool to, to experience a whole new thing, it was, it was awesome, I had a lot of fun. Cool, cool, so you're definitely wanting to be on the radio more often? Yeah, I need I need to find more uh, more channels and different uh, different other channels. So that's definitely a goal of mine is to find more outlets for my music. Yeah, cool. Well, thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode of Free TV. Oh, actually, we have a guest. We have a guest. JPT here, the host of the show. Yeah, we're here. Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Yeah, cool. We'll plug that. All right. See you guys later.